first time I ever cornered a fight was December 2nd, 2017. First time I ever cornered a fight was December 2nd, 2017. Uh, it was an amateur MMA event. Uh, it was the Titans Cage in Sacramento, and my buddy Jason, and my buddy, and my buddy Jason was fighting a guy named Brian Lanau, I think, uh, Lanau, Lanau, something like that. Uh, Jason had cut down to 260 from like 280 or 300 or something like that, and Brian was still at like 280. So I think that was the heavyweight limit for. Keep in mind, this is amateurs. So the amateur weight classes in California MMA are very different than what the pro weight classes are. Uh, Brian was like a kung fu guy uh, with a really strong jab. And this fight is online. If you look up uh, Titan K Titans Cage Jason Fonzi on YouTube, you'll see it. And you'll see me without a beard. Uh, it was a pretty good fight. Jason knocked him out in the second round. Uh, but leading up to it, I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, to train myself, I was just watching random MMA fights on YouTube, picking a guy. And I'm doing this in my patrol car, by the way. So, like, at, when I was still a cop, I would be, like, on a stop sign somewhere, doing patrol some stuff somewhere. And I'd be watching MMA fights on YouTube. I would just pick a guy and pretend I was his corner and tell him stuff he should do and give him words of encouragement. Uh, but Jason... This was like uh, maybe a week or two before. I was like, hey, you want to corner me? What? Why? Because uh, I had a loud voice, obviously. I had known Jason at the time. I'll do a separate video on this. Uh, me and Jason had known each other at the time for like maybe three weeks or so. And then he's like, hey, you should corner me. I've never done that. I don't know what to do. It's like, yeah, it's okay, man. You know, my buddy's cornering with us, and, you know, he'll do a lot of the stuff. Dude, it was weird, but it was super cool because me is a huge fight, like, huge fan of MMA, huge fan of combat sports. Uh, I'm talking, like, I'll watch sumo wrestling at 1 in the morning on Twitch, huge fan of combat sports. And to have Jason ask me to corner him in his MMA debut fight was pretty cool. Uh... For a fan, it was great. If you're a big MMA fan and you're doing like some, you know, you do jujitsu or boxing or something like that, you have some sort of, some kind of grasp of what's going on. Even if you don't, if you get the opportunity to corner a fight, dude, you should do it because next to fighting, refing, or judging, uh, to me, working a corner is the ultimate fan experience you can have. And that's, I mean, that's why I said I did. I was like, yeah, that'd be cool. Other than the fact that I'm absolutely terrified. Like, oh no, what if I screw up? What if I tell him to do something wrong? He, he knocked the guy out in the second round. We weren't too worried about it. Uh, first round, if you watch that fight, that first round was a little scary. Because uh, Brian had a really strong jab. Real strong lead jab. Uh, decent concept of footwork. and what He was a kung fu guy, so we know... He had a decent understanding of angles and what he was doing on the feet. Uh, and then Jason was like, hey, watch what happens when I wrestle your big old tuchus to the ground and punch you in the face until you tap to strikes. So that was cool. Uh, but, dude, the first time I cornered a fight, I was terrified. I had no idea what I was doing. I was super intimidated, like, oh, my God, all these fighters and, like, all these corners, like... Uh, there was, like, some old UFC heads in the area that were still, like, promo guys now. A couple alpha male guys were there. And the, the amateur fight scene in California is pretty stacked. Because uh, a lot of the gyms, the MMA gyms in Cal... Because uh, the amateur fight scene in California is pretty stacked. Because so many of the prominent gyms in the MMA world are in California. It is alpha male uh, in the Bay Area. You have... So that was cool. Uh, all in, I've cornered six or seven amateur fights and one pro fight. And the craziest thing I did was I cornered three or four fights in one night. That was kind of cool. Uh, I had 
two two or three of my buddies in the amateurs on the same card at the, in the same event. Two or three of them were amateur fighters, and I cornered both of those fights. And then I cornered a pro fight. My that was my debut for pro cornering MMA because his his dudes didn't show up. Like he hadn't heard from him, so it was like, "I'll corner you, buddy. You're my friend. I want to help you out. That's what I do." So I paid the fee. I think it was like 120 bucks for a license or 80 bucks for a license. So it was cash. So I had to run out to the ATM, get the cash, pay the licensing fee, and you know, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I love fights.